queen in desperate times felt incredibly hurt and shocked as Meg and Harry continued to tell all. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex shocked the world when they stepped down as senior members of the royal family last year. Since their departure, the couple have made several explosive claims about their time within the firm. Back in March this year, Harry and Meghan launched a scathing attack on the royal family after sitting down with Oprah Winfrey. They claimed there were concerns about the color of Archie's skin before he was born and Meghan said she had suicidal thoughts during her time in the firm. Harry also appeared to criticize his upbringing in the firm during a podcast with actor Dax Shepard and again in his Apple TV Plus docuseries with Oprah. Next year he plans to publish his memoir. Now, royal expert, Matthew Dennison, has claimed the Queen is incredibly hurt and shocked as Meghan and Harry continue to tell all. He told, she has barely had any time to herself since the interview. The Queen has always had a soft spot for Harry and looked out for him, so, she, is incredibly hurt and shocked that it has come to this. Following the Oprah interview, Harry has also taken part in a podcast and a documentary series where he is hit out at the royal family. In May, the Duke of Sussex appeared on the Armchair Expert podcast where he said he does not want to pass on pain from his own experience to his own children. Harry said, I don't think we should be pointing the finger or blaming anybody, but certainly when it comes to parenting, if I've experienced some form of pain or suffering because of the pain or suffering that perhaps my father or my parents had suffered, I'm going to make sure I break that cycle so that I don't pass it on, basically. It's a lot of genetic pain and suffering that gets passed on anyway so we as parents should be doing the most we can to try and say, you know what, that happened to me, I'm going to make sure that doesn't happen to you. In a documentary series, called The Me You Can't See, Harry also opened up about his experiences with mental health, claiming his suffering goes back to the same people, the same business model and the same industry. Prince Harry is releasing a memoir next year and, frankly, we're already excited to read it. While a lot of royal experts and sources have weighed in on the added strain the upcoming book's content could put on Harry's relationships with the other members of the royal family, one expert says the timing of its release could also be an issue. According to a press release about the deal, Harry's intimate and heartfelt memoir is set to be released in late 2022, which means it will hit shelves as the Queen is celebrating her historic Diamond Jubilee, which will mark her 70th year on the throne. True Royalty TV co-founder and editor-in-chief Nick Bullen said that it upset people, in the United Kingdom in particular, for the book to be coming out in, the Queen's, Jubilee year, adding that the move could be seen as disrespectful on Harry's part. I think here in Britain, the announcement of this book has undoubtedly sent shockwaves around the place, both at the highest levels of society and just with the average amount on the streets, Bullen said of the news of Harry's book deal. I think it was a couple of interviews, the first was surely enough. Surely the other interview was enough. Let's draw a line under it, and, let's try and start rebuilding from there. When news broke that Prince Harry is writing a memoir that will give the definitive account of the experiences, adventures, losses, and life lessons that have helped shape him, the biggest question on everyone's mind was whether or not the young royal had to ask his grandmother, Queen Elizabeth II, for permission. He did not, though he did alert the royal family that he was planning to tell his story in a private conversation. Buckingham Palace declined to comment further, telling the outlet, any clarification about the book would be a question for the Duke and Duchess of Sussex.